Hello everyone, welcome back to the awesome Titanic solution series. In the previous video, what we did is we did a grid search method using decision trees and tuned the hyperparameters such that we get the best hyperparameters to build a model. And we submitted the score and we got a terrible score on the model that we built, right? It was a slight improvement over the basic decision tree we had but it was not add go as good as the logistic model that we built right so it was 0 0.79 versus a 0 0.78 here now let's see if we can reduce the number of features and see if we can improve the score right so what i'll do is i copy the code and then i'm going to select the features using the select k best uh, method from the feature selection right so if you quickly look at that particular method it's going to be under this sk learn feature selection and it's going, going to be called as select k best and it also takes a function that is a, a score function right and those are these right so f class if mutual info chi square r regression and many of them right i'm not going to experiment on most of them right i'm just going to take a chi square one which is basically helpful for doing any classical classification tasks right now this basically this is a one criteria that is used to choose the variables against our dependent variables right so in a nutshell what we're going to do is you're going to you know have uh, the select k best method select 15 variables or whatever the user defines using the chi square score right so what I'm going to do is let's go from the top and uh, run all the basic codes and then we'll come to that particular step. So import pandas, import test and train and then divide into X and Y. Now before the test train split method, what we're going to do is do the feature selection, right? So I'm just going to import the select K best and the chi score, right? You can also do things like this which will help you select both of the packages within one line of code. Now, once I've done that, I can basically look at the X head here and then select 15 variables basis the chi square score, right? And then I run a fit on the X and Y so as that, you know, each of these variables that are there, the 43 variables that we have here will be compared against the dependent variable and then selected basis the chi square score right so whichever is the best score obviously will be selected uh, accordingly right so for now we're going to select 15 variables and see what's going to happen there right so i have selected 15 variables now if i run this it basically gets a support right so basically what these two steps does is it helps me get uh, a, a a series of boolean values which tells me which of those variables i'm going to select right so what i do is then I take a X selection variable and then pass this value, right? So I take X dot columns and then say select Boolean. So basically this has a series of true, false, true, false, and whichever the best variables are there, that's going to be selected, right? So if I run this particular piece of code, you'll see the top 15 variables that, that I needed in the model is getting selected here, right? Now I'm gonna build the model on this. Right. So before that, what we need to do is do our train and test. So I'm going to do the train and test using the X selected, right? Not the X that we have here, right? So in the previous cases we are using the X. So notice the X selection is what we're going to be using now, right? So if I did that and then imported my decision tree, now obviously we are going to use the grid search method. So I'm skipping these two steps for now. And then with the grid search method, I run the model right so if i run the model um this is the model selection now i'm going to basically select criteria and max step because none of them uh, none of the other parameters makes as much as difference they're going to just be the defaults that uh, the decision tree can take right so i'm just going to take these two for now take these parameters build the decision tree with grid search cv right the classifier is decision tree classifier and the grid is the parameters that we have there. So if I run it, fit the model, I get the best estimator, I get the best score, it's 0.81, which is not an improvement over what we had earlier. And then finally build the best model here and fit the train and score it, right? So you can see, we basically have 8.1 and 8.2 on the test and 
train uh, but let's see if it does a good score on the kaggle scoreboard i did the best uh, feature importance listing here and you can see that 15 variables uh, the top variables that we had in other models uh, are also coming as important here right so which is a good step now what we're going to do is let's evaluate the um, scores here and i basically have a score of 8.21 and 8.2 which is close enough but let's see if if it makes a difference on the kaggle scoreboard right so this is the evaluation that we did and then i'm going to finally run all the rest of the codes uh, as we usually do and get this final selected feature now i've uploaded this already to kaggle and i've seen the score right so it's around 0 0.7790 which is a decreasing uh, score from the all variables in decision tree with grid search cv right so which is why you know uh, obviously this is not a good model which means we need to see if any other variables uh, number selection will help us or not right so what i did is i did a quick code a loop which with all of these parameters there so i took the parameters that i had there and then i i did a short code to basically get all the test and train scores with the different variables right so for example i've just changed this k is equal to i right and i've run it from 10 number of variables to 44 uh, number of variables right and i ran this code and it, as you can see right uh, you're going to basically get a similar test and train score right except for a place some places here right somewhere here but pretty much it's all almost going to be the same right so what what i can take from this is that no matter what, how many variables i select on with the decision tree uh, and the grid search method right it's not going to be drastically improving the score from let's say 0.78 right so it might reach around 0.78 but uh, you know it's not going to drastically improve the model right which leads me to uh, you know concluding that decision trees may not be the best model for this particular scenario and uh, we might uh, you know end up using other better models uh, such as extra trees or random forests right so in the next video what we'll do is let's explore the extra trees and it's going to be a you know much more better version of decision trees if that does well uh, then we can probably use that model but if that does not do then we'll also move on to random forest uh, thank you for watching this video guys if you like this series please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel